How wonderful person this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss a somewhat unusual but also somewhat unnerving report that basically talks about potential dangers for what's known as mirror life, or specifically mirror bacteria. And though as I describe this to you, it might sound like some kind of a science fiction scenario, turns out that this could actually be an extremely dangerous phenomenon for the future of the planet, and something that a lot of scientists are now officially warning about. And here we're actually talking about something that would be a new extinction event if this ever became real. And so let's discuss this in more detail, but I guess let's start with the basics of biology first. Let's talk about chirality. And chirality is a topic you might remember from basic biology. The idea that things tend to come in two different shapes, either left-handed or right-handed. So basically it's a type of an asymmetry that actually applies to a lot of different sciences with the most famous example usually used in various biological and chemical classes, basically being our hands. Both are a type of a mirror image. But this idea of handedness is particularly important in organic chemistry. And that's because mirror molecules usually form in equal amounts, but can actually have extremely different effects and functions depending on what they are. And today we have certain examples that are pretty well known. And one of the most famous examples is the molecule known as carbon, a molecule that a lot of university classes very often use as an example to prove this point. Carbon also comes as either left-handed or right-handed, and depending on the handedness, it can either smell like spearmint or a type of a seed known as caraway. In other words, the mirror molecules in this case react differently inside our nose. They attach to different sense receptors, making them smell differently depending on the handedness. And though this is a really simple example, some examples are a little bit more extreme. And it doesn't get more extreme than thalidomide, an extremely powerful drug that was prescribed many years ago as a treatment to morning sickness. And it actually does work really well. Turns out though, thalidomide, which also exists in two forms, in one of its forms can cause devastating birth effects which unfortunately was not known until it started to cause these effects, affecting a lot of pregnant women and their children over the years. And so examples like thalidomide show us how extreme this can get and how in some cases handedness can be very dangerous, but also shows us that this is something we can physically create and something that we can physically control. And while in the last decade and especially in the last few years, this idea of generating mirror molecules and specifically mirror peptides has actually become even more popular. Here's one such paper from just a year ago, in January of 2024, that sequenced a mirror image of a very large ribosomal protein with a technique in this case, in theory, potentially useful for a lot of medical reasons. Here's the example from this study. And so basically by creating a mirror image of a protein, it might become possible to create something that can actually function as some kind of a medicine or something that can destroy viruses and bacteria in our body without being detected by our immune systems thus allowing it to function much longer. In other words, it becomes possible to create a protein that our body does not detect and does not destroy, but can actually still be theropathic. And a lot of this started back in 2016, when the Harvard scientist, George Church, created a mirror version of a DNA polymerase. So this is actually a relatively recent idea. But the idea that was based entirely on curiosity and essentially seeing if we can even make this happen. However, because this field advanced really quickly, now the same scientist, and actually a lot of other scientists, 38 to be specific, published this technical report warning everyone that this can lead to something extremely dangerous. And mostly because of studies like this that take this to a completely new level. Mixing synthetic cell engineering and nanotechnology in order to combine a lot of these mirror proteins and potentially create mirror life, or at least mirror bacteria. Now we've actually discussed a lot of these synthetic bacteria in some of the previous videos you can find in the description, but in the last few years, researchers have already been super successful at basically creating synthetic bacteria through extremely thorough genetic modification. This idea of synthetic biology that began in the 80s has now become very effective and has also become a very active field. But now some scientists are thinking of combining these fields, which would basically result in mirror bacteria or synthetic life that mirrors natural life, or just to rephrase this, life that would be formed from mirror molecules and mirror proteins. Although here it's really important to understand something about life that we see around us. That's of course including you and me. All of the amino acids inside of us, all of the building blocks of proteins, 
are left-handed, while all of the sugars are right-handed. As a matter of fact, DNA is also right-handed as well. Now, we don't actually know exactly why this is so, and this is one of the biggest mysteries in nature and in biology, but there have been some propositions trying to explain this, including one involving cosmic rays. The video in the description talks about this more. And so, this selective chirality is super important for a lot of living systems. Mostly because it's a defining feature of the entire biosphere, and all of the chemical reactions inside of us depend on this handedness. But what if suddenly we have a bunch of bacteria or a bunch of viruses made entirely out of left-handed DNA, which would now be basically a mirror image? And while we know that technically, building these mirror biological molecules is already achievable. A lot of mirror enzymes have been created over the years, and a lot of them for various medical reasons. But the studies like this, that essentially is trying to build the entire bacteria from the ground up by using these mirror molecules, is literally what the scientists are trying to warn us about, because we don't know where this goes. If such bacteria were to be created, in theory, it could technically become completely immune to all immune systems on the planet. For example, if one were to get infected by such bacteria, our immune system would be completely ineffective against it and would not be able to evolve and adapt for millions and millions of years. And because here the molecules and the entire structure would be identical to a normal bacteria, it would function in a very similar way. And so if something like this were to escape from some kind of a lab out there, it could literally cause an extinction event. For example, nothing that eats bacteria usually would be able to consume this because it would be completely useless to them, since mirror molecules are not digestible. None of the digestive enzymes would work on these bacteria, and it could also be completely immune to various viruses. Normally, in nature, viruses control the bacterial growth and can actually be used to prevent infections, but a typical virus would not affect mirror bacteria because it would just not see it and would not be able to act on it. And since the entire biosphere of the planet is based on these left-handed amino acids, anything that comes into existence with right-handed amino acids can potentially completely displace everything, even out competing other bacteria in the same niche. In other words, a right-handed amino acid bacteria that suddenly comes into the same niche would simply displace anything else because no virus and no enzyme can do anything to it. It can literally take over the entire planet without anything affecting it. Or at least that's the idea behind this report and what the scientists are warning against, because technically it's a real possibility. Although the main point is that the effects would be completely unpredictable and we have no idea what this would cause. I mean, technically, a lot of antibiotics we use do actually depend on chirality of molecules, and so in that sense we have absolutely nothing to fight these bacteria. Which honestly would also make for an excellent science fiction story, or possibly some kind of a horror movie. Except that this is a real valid concern, and something that could one day become a problem. Luckily though, we're still at least a decade away from scientists being able to create something in a lab that would be an actual functioning organism made entirely out of mirror molecules. Right now, we can only produce individual molecules, or possibly individual proteins, but not the entire DNA and not thousands of proteins required for mirror life. But the report itself is very detailed and actually goes through a lot of different examples and a lot of different explanations for why we need to take this seriously. As a matter of fact, this report is 300 pages long and goes through all possible scenarios, highlighting certain species that can become dominant on the entire planet. So we have this one example here that can completely displace certain types of single-cell organisms, thus collapsing the food chain. And so hopefully scientists working on the mirror life and mirror bacteria will not take it too far. Otherwise, we might have something else to worry about and something else that can take us closer to that extinction. But in this case, something that we would not even see and something that we might even have trouble fighting. Nevertheless, this is still a super fascinating idea and something we'll talk about in some of the future videos. As a matter of fact, we've discussed this idea of chirality and even origins of this handedness in life in the videos in the description. But we'll of course come back and talk more about this once there are some additional discoveries, some additional revelations in regards to how dangerous this is, or once the scientists come to some kind of an agreement in regards to safety. On that note, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.